using SW2 to do some interrogation work on data on error. In other words, what was actually happening when the system actually went into fault. So SW4 here, we're looking at dip switches 4, 5, 7 and 8 and this is going to give us our actual discharge temperature at time of error. You can see obviously that's quite high. You can also check the high pressure side if you want to as well. So SW4, 1, 3, 6, 7 and 8 into the on position and that will give me my discharge pressure at time of error. So you can see I sort of building a picture of what the system might have been doing when it went into fault. So it's within about five seconds of the actual fault occurring. This was actually what was going on with the system.